Funny looking agents. Interesting report though, and definitely a good start. But we all know that what you learn in the classroom doesn't always translate to those times when the teachers aren't around. If you're being bullied, or know someone who is, the first thing to think about is telling someone. But who and how? Fortunately, there are some simple yet brilliant devices that some schools use to make telling easier. Probably I'll go through Squeezley. Pat. Pat. Pat Greasley. Mr. Greasley. Mr. Greasley. I'd tell Mrs. Greasley. This is learning mentor Pat Greasley. She's the person that most people at this school would go to if they had a problem. And one of the ways they could tell her about it is via the worry box. As a tool to use in school, it's a really important tool, but it wouldn't work in isolation. It needs everything else to work with it. It needs the dedicated person. Um, it needs somebody to be able to follow it through. Um, but as, as something that is visible in school, as something that children know is there, so that they are able to, to share their problems with somebody in a different way than actually speaking. It's a really important tool from that angle. You don't need a box though. This school also has a worry website where you can email your problems. And at some schools soon you'll be able to text your problem to a dedicated person. You don't need a learning mentor either. This school has set up a system where you can send a private message to your class teacher. This is our chat book. We use it to send private messages to our teachers. If you don't want anyone to see you telling a teacher, you just write it in there. You put it on the teacher's desk and, um, and then they will look at it and come and help you. It's excellent. It works really well. All the children are really aware of it. They're, they feel comfortable knowing it's there. It's one of the first things they ask when they come into your new classroom to just check that they know where it is if they ever need it. We've got a school motto which is there's no such thing as an innocent bystander and children can actually follow that motto by using the chat book because children who have seen bullying taking place or have seen something that they think might be name calling or saying something nasty or doing something that they don't think is appropriate, they can actually report that back in the chat book. In some schools, instead of going straight to a member of staff, you can go to another student first to get their opinion and advice. This secondary school has a peer mentoring scheme and a drop-in service, so at set times, you know that there's going to be someone to talk to who has been trained to help. Peer mentoring is very good because like, get it from other children, so people your age, so you want to interact with them more and talk to them more feel more confident about talking to them because they know what you're going through really. When I first come to this school I had a few problems myself and needed learning mentors and peer mentors so I thought well if I've gone through these problems I know how to deal with them so I can help people and it'll make me feel better as well. The advice for anyone who's being bullied is always tell someone so every school should have a system that makes telling easy. After all giving kids a safe way to share their problems is the first step to sorting them out. This is Johnny, Agent 009 for ABTV. Okay, so there's a few options on ways to tell. Remember, bullies thrive in secrecy. So if you don't get the response you want straight away, find someone else and keep on telling. Exactly. There's not much point in telling someone if they don't do anything about it. So what can you expect that person you've told to do? There are loads of different things a school might do, so we sent Lauren out on this assignment to investigate a few of them. I bet she says a code name. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Anyway, here she is. Agent Lauren here. 007. Okay, so you've been bullied. You've told someone. Now what did they do? One of the first priorities for teachers is to find out what actually happened. They hardly ever catch it on CCTV. But there are lots of other ways to get a fair hearing. Restorative justice takes the detective work out of actually finding out what happened in an incident because it's a no-blame approach. Both sides have a say and everybody gets a clear picture of what has actually happened. Everyone can include parents, learning support staff, teachers or sometimes the local police officer. As well as finding out what happened, you can get right into the cause of the problem. The bully has to actually admit what's happened. They have to recognise that they've taken part in an incident and that somebody else has, might have suffered because of that incident. And we do actually find that because they face their victim, that they realise what, what the problem was and, and why they shouldn't have done it. Whatever way the immediate problem has been dealt with, building up the student's self-esteem can be a long process. 
Lots of schools offer support in the shape of specially trained peer mentors. We'd be looking at art for year seven to see if how they're getting on and see if they're getting bullied. Make sure that they know where to come in, find us. I think it'll make them like feel more welcome because there's like a boy and a girl that gets attached to a form class and we get to know them and they get to know us so they can come to us if they have any troubles. The process isn't always so formal. This school has a buddy system and it works just a bit different. People were picking on me and chucking things and hitting me. And um, in PSAT, Miss Butler asked if Leah could be my... I can sit next to her and Leah said, yeah. She was being nice to me, telling, telling my friends to stop, stop hitting me and chucking stuff and calling my names. And she let me sit next, sit next to her. And that made me feel happy about myself. Sometimes a low-key approach is best and the simple system we have in place at this school means that a member of staff knows straight away if something's gone wrong. All right, Lauren? Yes, thanks. The Thumbs Up system's a really easy, low-key system that we use in school. Children you know, feel uncomfortable um, if they've been bullied and they don't want everybody to know about that. We, you know, it's, conf it's confidential. Uh, information and also for the person that's doing the bullying I don't think it's good for that for that to be advertised around school and that child also has the right to for confidentiality so I think keeping it low-key helps them to be more open and honest about what's happening. Finally there's the inevitable paperwork. Incidents need to be logged with a system in place so that any patterns are obvious. Bottom line is bullying is serious and when the incident has taken place, the school has to act. Having the system in place means that help can be immediate, effective and backed up by long term support. This is Agent Lauren here, handing you back to the studio. Thanks Lauren for that report.